A resolution is an acknowledgement. It is not a given law. And so they're acknowledging your right. It ought to exist. They're not giving you anything. And so you must recognize what a resolution is. All right? And so when you look at that, you look at that from that perspective, same thing with anything relative to the United Nations. They don't give anything. They only acknowledge. But if we don't acknowledge, there's nothing that the civilized world can do. They can't come to our aid. They'd be in violation of law. As long as we agree to be Negro, black, and colored, Smith, Jones, and Johnson, guess what? This man rules legally. And when we're prepared to render unto Caesar what is Caesar's and start acting like we know ourselves, then things will begin to change politically on a massive scale. And the Union State Society will begin to collapse, which is collapsing now anyway. But I'm just saying as far as its speed up. But the deal is that we must be prepared for government, i.e. responsibility. And responsibility comes with knowledge, not with emotionalisms. And so while people sitting around, you know, battling idol God beliefs, they're not going to go anywhere. They're going to have to become scientists like their forefathers. Uh, one more. Do you know who actually, uh, actually started the UN? Who actually started the UN? Moors did, and Europeans. I mean, the Europeans, 35 Moors, and how many? 15? 20? European sons, which is really what you would call the Lodge. No, I mean, I'm saying the United Nations, as far as the building, as far as most of us would know. The United United Nations was actually before the United Nations League of Nations. Right, before, the, I'm saying after the League of Nations, the United before Nations. Before that, no, before, before, United Nations is, is actually the League of Nations. And the League of Nations is actually patterned after the Moorish Court of Lions. Right, but I'm saying after the League of Nations came this so-called building, United Nations or whatever. And yes. That, that particular building or that structure, that corporation or whatever, who actually started that? It's actually, no, it came, came right out of the League of Nations. That's mostly bankers are in control of it now. Okay, right. That's you know, but that's because they're in control of your birthright. Mm -hmm. That's the false law and the false currency. But that doesn't remove the principles which are correct. Oh, no, that, I'm not, I'm no, just... no, I'm saying to you, once you understand that it is the principles that you're attached to, not the organization. Right, but see, why well, reason I say that, because I see a lot of us, when we hear United Nations, we, so we jump from where we're at now to, all right, we're going to get under them. And, it's, and it's wrong concept. Right. That's why I want to say Wrong that. concept. Your job here is to enforce the Constitution. And if we don't do that, all the other things pretty much are neutralized. And it's kind of hard, and I understand, because when you give people a lot of data, they have a tendency to get distracted, just like you can give people a knowledge of the Uniform Commercial Codes. And rather than use them to supplement the, the contractual condition, they try to use it to supplement instead of the Constitution. And that's where they make their mistake. And once they get in that deck of cards, that may will beat them up. You use the Uniform Commercial Codes probably for de public declaration of getting back into the common law, which is the Constitution. And the agreement of the United States Republic is actually the agreement between the Moors and the European sons to stop these hundreds of years of war. So the United States Republic is a beacon light for a civilized society coming out of Moabite Moorish law as a guidepost for just government. And when that constitution is violated, we're going to the next level down. But the deal is, the European, when they did their great Christian book burnings, was to disconnect the Moors, the descendants of the Moors, from their government. And so most Moors, even when they become conscious, keep thinking that that constitution belongs to the European, European male. No, that's a contract for business, for amity and commerce in these dominions. It's not the American flag. The American flag is a, is a red flag with a five-pointed green star in the center. But then if you don't know that, you start giving credibility to that amity flag as being the American flag, 
You've given your sovereignty to him. And that's what he's been claiming. That's why you won't see the, the, the president of the union democracy. They'll never say republic. They always say our democracy. Because they're stealing your legacy. But then if you don't reject that or if you don't correct that, then they build a false foundation and then they got you on the contract because you have an objective. And it's called a waiver. And so you waive your rights. And you already, where did the Moors occupy? Where did the Moors dwell? For over 10,000 years. We say 10,000 years, over 10,000. That's just to give you an estimate to block out all the bull that they padded onto this thing. Northwest and southwest of Mexico, where's it at? Where's the heart of the Moroccan Empire? No, not right here. Where's the heart of the Moroccan Empire? Where is the heart of the Moroccan Empire? Northwest of Mexico. Where's northwest, northwest of Mexico? Oh, North America. Now you're being specific, because believe me, law is specific. The Civil War was initiated to undermine the Republic and to solidify slavery in all the states. The Republican forms of government was dismantled in all the southern states because you are the Republic. And then when they, through color of law, allowed these Asiatics to vote, etc., they would not allow them to vote unless they voted Democratic, which became the tradition of these Asiatics voting Democratic to undermine themselves. And that's consent, isn't it? But Article 4, Section 4 of our Constitution declares what? Say it say loud. Up here. Look on the camera. Article 4, Section 4 states, The United States shall guarantee every state in the union a republican form of government. Does it say anything about democracy anywhere in that Constitution, which is the supreme law of the land? No, it does not. So when a politician starts talking about our democracy and you don't contest it, what is that called by law? Acquiescence. And also a waiver, isn't it? Yes, it is. So you abandon your birthright, the securing of your birthright, don't you? Mm -hmm. So legally, now they already got you before they even issue anything else. Mm -hmm. Former anarchy. Exactly correct. So if you're not familiar with law, and they automatically just assume... That's assumption, isn't it? Now you understand the assumption of jurisdiction in legal processes? Now are, we, are we following this? Now let's look at this. Assumptions of jurisdiction, right? Now you're dealing with... And that's a broad subject matter, isn't it? Huh? And when you're talking about government authority, you're talking about jurisdictional powers. Am I correct? And when you're talking about jurisdictional powers, you're talking about national sovereignty. Am I correct? So in order to have jurisdictional powers, you must have a national sovereignty. Am I correct? Is America a nation? Uh, that's a slow answer. You better, I better hear a resounding no. America's two continents, isn't it? and an isthmus and a multiplicity of islands with multiple jurisdictions and multiple flags. So is there a the American flag? It doesn't exist. What occurs when you agree to that? You just created an artificial jurisdiction, i.e. a 13th and 14th Amendment corporate person or colored people. Now they have a set of rules for such persons it's called the Christian Black Codes of 1724 and the Negro Acts and the Buck Act. And that's what they've been governing you under. Now you understand why Drew Ali keeps saying command the enforcement of our Constitution? Because you keep acquiescing and letting them govern you under false law, and you won't contest it. 
Then you keep calling yourself Smith, Jones, and Johnson, which give them legal authority over you. I mean, you see how you must understand this track. It's very subtle and it's very simple. It's not even complicated. Is the Constitution of the Northern Irish Republic different from the Constitution is the supreme law of the land. Do you know what the word supreme?